Jessica Andrews from ESPN. Hey James, I, I'm wondering on a night like tonight when maybe you don't score the most, but you're setting up someone like Joe Harris to hit bucket after bucket, how you reflect on a performance like that? Uh, it's not about scoring for me. It's about doing everything else. And I mean, ultimately we got the win. So that's all that matters. You know, uh, Joe had it going tonight and we all knew that. And then me, Katie and Kai just chipped in where, where we needed to. But, you know, it's just, it's all a team effort, you know, and different games is going to be different guys. Tonight it was Joe. Um, next game, game three, it could be somebody else. So we just all locked in. We're all on the same page and we're whatever it takes to win, we're willing to do. Bruce Beck, NBC New York. James, Steve said after the game, forget about the performance. It's about the mindset to get better over this playoff journey. Do you think this was a step in the right direction in that regard? Yeah, definitely. And even like last game, we didn't make shots like we wanted to, but defensively we got after it. And that's a good sign right there. And then we wanted to continue to get better. I mean, look, we haven't played as many games as we would like to in the regular season. So this is our opportunity to kind of learn each other and get better at the same time, which is going to be difficult, but we're up for the task, um, you know? So tonight was a great job. I think in that first half, we held them to 47 points. We always look at the defensive side because that's what's going to get us wins. And then um, and offensively, offensively, we got it going. So it's like I said, it's, it's a pretty good game for us. And we're watching film um, and be ready for game three because I know they'll be, they'll be excited at home. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, James, you keep stressing the defensive side and, you know, especially those first three quarters, you really shut him down and you made it tough on, on Tatum uh, as long as he was in the game. What has been the key to that defense, you know, making it tough for them to find good shots? Just uh, crowding their space and, and being physical. And then, uh, you, know, you know, when the shot goes up, uh, they got a few guys that are offensive uh, rebounders that are really good. So we got to just make sure that we, we gang rebound. Uh, all five guys or whoever challenges the shot, everybody else gang rebound. Um, and as you see, we had a, a great team uh, team rebounding game tonight. So it's going to take continuous effort, uh, possession by possession. And uh, we got the right mindset. At. Rachel Nichols, ESPN. Hey, James. Just wondering uh, what you know about playing in the playoffs now that you didn't know in your first few years in the playoffs uh, in the league when you first got in 2011 and from there. Um, I think everybody knows it's just the intensity. The intensity is at another level. You know, I think every possession counts. Like, there's no loose possessions where you can give guys um, things that we go over on the scouting report. You know, and if, and if a mistake happens, whether it's myself or, you know, our entire team, we kind of know, you know, we can't do that or allow that to happen two times in a row. So um, it's possession by possession. And then it's just like, you know, the keys, the physicality, the rebound in the basketball. Um, because at that point, especially when you get to, you know, later in the series, your plays don't really matter anymore. You know, it's the small detailed things that that's going to get you over the hump. And um, we need to hone in on those things. Is there anything for you personally that sort of you've picked up over the years of when you're approaching the playoffs, either about on a game day, how you want to work your routine any differently than on a regular season day or just physically, whether you mentioned the physicality of the playoffs, just knowing you're going to expect to get beat up more? No, I think it's just uh, being prepared. That's all it is. Like, if you're prepared, then, you know, you're going to play good. You know, whether you miss shots or make shots, if you're prepared and, and doing the things necessary for your team to win, um, that's all you can ask for. Obviously, when you're making shots, it's a, it's a bonus, you know. So, um, I think just trying to help guys, prepare them, you know, even the younger guys that has never been in this situation before, the young, uh, to, to knowing what we're doing, know what we're trying to accomplish throughout each possession and overall the game and, you know, keep building that confidence in the young guys, which, you know, me, myself, and, uh, me, my, myself and, and Kai and Kay tried to do. Thank you. Thanks for your time, James. Appreciate you.